it's December 14th. This is my first time out in Missouri this year. I'm living the high life and, uh, and uh, box blind at night. Set up over this little strip of what used to be a food plot, just kind of grown up stuff now. I got a river over here in front of me. I got a couple huge, huge cut bean fields to the left and behind me. And I think thick timber where they bed. Uh, there's a lot of tracks in here. Uh, we threw a camera up today, so we're not even exactly sure what's out here, but I know there's some big deer here. Mason's about three quarters of a mile over behind me, hunting a uh, standing cornfield. We checked the camera today, and there's four shooter bucks, and one of them is a stud 10 point. It's December 14th, and he is back there chasing a doe. He's on a pretty good man. He's a freaking stud. I hope she brings him out here. I grunted at him, but didn't do anything. He's stuck on her. set up for about 45 minutes now. This is my uh, first evening hunt at this stand. Mason sat here a couple evenings, haven't had any luck. I sat here the last two mornings. This morning, I had one of our shooters come in, Ed, and I just made a bad shot, shot right under him. But uh, I have a good feeling he might be back. We also have another big buck named Eddie. He's a stud. Mason's about a mile and a half at the other side of this property. Hunting uh, Houdini, who is a stud. These deer up here have kind of been avoiding us pretty well. The days we can't hunt, they're there in daylight. I hunt this stand. Houdini's there that morning, so at least we got both spots filled tonight. We'll see what happens. The wind's pretty good.
this cornfield where we've had two big shooters show up. Mason and I had an encounter with um, the deer we call Fast Eddie uh, a couple weeks ago, and then Griffin had an encounter with uh, Houdini. So we're hoping that one of those two will show up tonight. They're both studs. And then there's also two other bucks that are, um, you know, they're shooters. So. I just did that. I'm an idiot. That was Houdini at 25 yards. The deer that I've been hunting hard and I've been praying for an opportunity just like that. And I just ruined it. I shot right under him. There was like four bucks that came in. I couldn't tell. I think there's Houdini. Ed the nine point and then a little buck. That little buck was about to bust me. Finally got him calmed down and Houdini walked right out and I just blew it. <sighs> That's a monster and I just ruined it. Well, here it is. It's January the 11th. This is the last day for me, Griffin and Mason here in Missouri. Our last day this season overall. We uh, have had some great encounters at this place. Griffin's had two, three encounters with Houdini. I had an encounter with him this morning. And then Griffin had an encounter with another deer we call Ed. And Mason and I had an encounter with Fast Eddie. Three great bucks. So, we're hoping that tonight is going to be the magical night. One of us three, hopefully, will get something tonight. Here we are, January 10th. Finally made it out here to Skillet Fork Outfitters in Carmi, Illinois. Glad to be here. Just shot a few arrows out back. Feeling real confident. And this place is amazing. You just look around the walls and it's, it's hard not to get pumped. So we'll hit it first thing in the morning and see what happens.
Just hit the big ten point. Hit him back. Man, I was so nervous drawing on him. I could hardly pull back. He looked right up at me. I think I I just rushed a shot. That was my bad. But hopefully, give him a few hours. Well, at least till tonight. Let him lay down and just expire. So hopefully we get him. So stay tuned and we'll see what happens. Right there on the bank. Is that him right there on the screen, Chris? All right. Let's see. January 17th. Saw this buck three mornings in a row. Finally got him patterned right down. Got in the tree. Him and a couple other bucks were fighting around this morning. He finally come in 23 yards. Caught me drawing a little bit. I pulled the shot, but luckily, broadhead did its job. He probably went 150, 200 yards. We let him lay all day, just be safe. He's piled up here right on the other side of the creek. So, can't thank Skillet Fork Outfitters enough. Chris Crow, heck of a job. DeerUnderFan.com TV is sponsored by Buck Yeah, Insane Archery, Ridge Runners Guide Service, Spy Point, Longhorn Fat Shop, Muddy Outdoors, Ohio Trophy Buck Outfitters, Strutters, Vapor Trail, and also by these fine sponsors.